Now we're transitioning to something that's a little different uh, in this view, where we're, our focus here is to try and specify analysis and use this as a basis to integrate the SysML model with other analytical models. And this is sort of the first step towards that. And what we've done is we've created a BDD or a block definition diagram and created a new context called illumination analysis context. And what we refer to here is the flashlight domain, which you'll recall from an earlier slide was the top level block that the flashlight, the user, and the environment were contained in. That flashlight domain becomes the subject of the analysis. This is the thing we're going to analyze. We're going to analyze that whole thing. And we're going to analyze it in terms of this illumination analysis. These elements here correspond to basically equations. But in reality, they're typically more abstract than that. They're, they really represent different analysis that we're going to perform on the subject of the analysis, this flashlight domain. So in this case, it's just simple. And so the illumination analysis is equation, and there's a range equation. But more generally, these could be very complex uh, analysis blocks that are used to specify full-blown analysis. You typically don't include all the equations of the analysis in these blocks, but merely the inputs and output parameters of the analysis. So that's what we would typically do. So we provide a context, we refer to the subject of the analysis, what is it we're analyzing, and then what are the analysis themselves that we're trying to specify, and just identify the input and output parameters. Once we've done that, you'll see on the next slide, we have what's called a parametric diagram, where we try and connect the value properties or the properties of the design to the parameters, the input and output parameters of the analysis. So let's look at that. And that's what you're seeing here. So this is the flashlight domain that we saw in the previous slide. We're just looking at it in more detail. And the pink represents certain properties that we had previously defined. They're, they're called value properties. And these parameters here on the blue boxes are the blue boxes are the analysis, and the parameters are shown as those, those little rectangles or squares that are flush with the interior of the analysis. And what you see is we're connecting the properties of the design to the parameters of the analysis. And in this way, we're able to synchronize the design model in the center with these different analysis models. Once we've done that, we can pass this information off to other tools. And these tools can then actually tie in to the actual analysis tools, perform the analysis, and then return results back to the SysML model. So one scenario is you might define the input values in the SysML model, send those to the analysis models that then perform the analysis, and then return results back to the SysML model. There's other scenarios. That's just one example. But the important thing here is we're synchronizing the design model with the analytical models. And you can synchronize with multiple analytical models. So it's a very powerful technique. It's fairly straightforward and can be very, very useful. Uh, in this trivial example, we're showing how the results of the analysis were returned uh, and represented in a simple table of results. So in this next view here, we're looking at requirements traceability. So I'll call your attention to the illumination requirement the field of view requirement and the uh, power, illumination power requirement uh, or light power requirement that we had shown in an earlier flashlight specification slide and in the table. 
Well, these are the same requirements. They're brought into this view with the purpose of showing traceability to these requirements. And what you see are these two design elements, the lamp and reflector, are asserted to satisfy these two requirements. And so this connects the requirements or traces the requirements to the design elements. But you also see there's a rationale here that connects to the satisfy relationship and it points or refers to the illumination analysis that we just talked about on the previous slide. So this basically relates the analysis to the requirements and the design. And then finally, there's a verification case called illumination test case up here that verifies the illumination requirement. And although not shown in these slides, this verification case can be elaborated into a full set of test procedures, can go to varying levels of detail depending on your intent and, and how you scope this model. But this is a starting point for defining a potentially a very detailed test case for how you are going to verify these requirements and demonstrate that you satisfy them with these elements. So this gives a, just a simple example of how you bring your requirements, your design elements, your analysis elements, and your verification elements all together into uh, and show the traceability between them.